Hello dear students, welcome back to the second lecture on the Taylor series method. Uh, so in the previous method uh, we have discussed, we have understood the basic idea of using Taylor series to solve these uh, differential equations numerically. So today we will focus on one of the most important and frequently asked problems from this topic, something that has been repeated multiple times in the university, right? Uh, university exams. So this is June, July 2024 uh, paper. I have taken this particular question and it is repeated in most of the papers. So, so this problem not only tests your concept of Taylor expansion, but uh, it will also check uh, your ability to apply derivatives correctly and organize your solution step by step so stay uh, connected with me till the end because mastering this one of the important question will give you the confidence to tackle any similar question in your exam okay well, what are the question uh, that appears in the examination you will easily tackle those particular problems okay so let us solve this particular question over here and let me recall that particular uh, taylor series formula over here okay so writing solution first of all uh, we will recall the formula that is y of x is equal to y of x naught plus x minus x naught raised power 1 similarly you will write down x minus x naught raised power 2 plus x minus x naught raised power 3 so so on right so here you will write down y dash of x naught here we have y of x naught y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught and here you will write down y triple dash of x naught okay then plus so so on hope this is visible to you and in the division you will write down here the power is 1 so divided by 1 factorial and here the power is 2 divided by 2 factorial and here the power is 3 so 3 factorial this is the Taylor series expansion formula which you have to use in this particular problem and you no need to remember this particular formula as I earlier told you in the previous uh, lecture itself this uh, series expansion will be given in your data handbook okay now let us solve this particular question this dy by dx it can also be written as y dash which is equal to 2 times y plus 3 times e of x and y of 0 is equal to 0 it is called as initial condition and in the previous lecture itself I have told you in the each and every problem there will be uh, initial condition that is in general y of x naught is equal to y naught this is the general initial condition for each and every problem so here we have y of 0 is equal to 0 means this 0 is nothing but x naught so x naught is equal to 0 and here we have 0 instead of this y naught so y naught is equal to 0 in this problem so y naught is equal to 0 make the box for these two terms so that you will easily proceed uh, with the differentiation part first of all i will write down this y dash as y dash of x naught which is equal to 2 times y of x naught plus 3 times e of x naught and why i am writing here y of x naught y dash of x naught 3 e power x naught instead of x i am taking 3 e power x naught okay so i am checking the values at initial condition in each and every derivative you have to use initial conditions only okay so that is why i am writing this y dash of x naught and in the formula itself we have to calculate this see here y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught y triple dash of x naught similarly y four times of x naught so now see here y dash of x naught is nothing but zero so y dash of zero is equal to two times y of x naught again zero plus three times e power x naught is nothing but zero so you can write down here 2 times y of 0 so y of 0 it is in the question given y of 0 is equal to 0 so 2 multiplied by 0 plus 3 e power anything raised power 0 is nothing but so anything raised power 0 is nothing but 1 so e power 0 is equal to 1 so 3 into 1 which is equal to 2 into 0 is nothing but 0 plus 3 into 1 is 3 so we are getting y dash of x naught is equal to 3 this is our first value see here we have calculated this y dash of x naught now we have to calculate y double dash of x naught i can write down here y double dash of x naught is equal to see what is the first equation 2y plus 3e power x we have to differentiate this particular term so what it is the differentiation of 2y with respect to x it is nothing but 2y dash so 2y dash plus 3 is constant again so differentiation of e power x is nothing but e power x now i can write down here y double dash of x naught is equal to 2 into y dash of x naught plus 3 e power 
x naught we have to check each and every value with the initial condition that is why instead of taking x i am taking 3 e power x naught here y dash of x naught okay hope you are getting my point so 2 multiplied by y dash of x naught i can write down x naught okay or y dash of 0 as we have calculated this y dash of x naught here y dash of x naught is equal to 3 that is why i am writing here y dash of x naught again okay plus 3 multiplied by e power x naught so e power x naught value is nothing but 0 okay so which is equal to 2 multiplied by what is the y dash of x naught value it is 3 here so 2 multiplied by 3 plus 3 multiplied by e power 0 is nothing but 1 anything raised power 0 is equal to 1 so 3 into 2 is 6 plus 3 into 1 is 3 so which is equal to 9 we are getting y double dash of x naught is equal to 9 so make a box for it okay hope it is visible hope up to this it is clear to you students okay now we have to calculate this is our y double dash of x naught this is our so this is our y dash of x naught so now we have to calculate y triple dash of x naught okay see here in the formula itself we have calculated y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught we have calculated now we have to calculate y triple dash of x naught so i can write down here y triple dash of x naught is equal to c after uh, double differentiating this particular term now you have to consider this equation now you have to differentiate it triply so triple differentiation you have to do so what is the differentiation of 2y dash it is nothing but 2y double dash plus 3 as it is differentiation of e power x is again e power x now we can write down y triple dash of x naught is equal to 2 times y double dash of x naught plus 3 e power x naught now you are already familiar why I am taking y dash of x naught and here e power x naught. See here 2 into y double dash of x naught we have calculated this is 9. So 2 multiplied by 9 plus 3 into e power x naught. So e power x naught is nothing but 0. So 2 into 9 is 18 plus 3 into e power 0 is nothing but 1. So 18 plus 3 which is equal to 21. This is your value of y triple dash of x naught is equal to 21 make a box for it again now you have to differentiate four times see here y four times of x naught which is equal to now you have to consider this equation after triply differentiating the above equation we are getting this equation now we have to differentiate this equation in for y four times of x naught see what is the differentiation of 2y double dash it is nothing but 2y triple dash plus 3 e power x again differentiation of e power x is nothing but e power x okay so which is equal to 2 into y triple dash of x naught plus 3 into e power x naught just making it simple for you students otherwise it is not necessary to write down again and again y triple dash of x naught 3 into e power x naught okay so it is understood now it is already e power x naught just you have to check the values at initial conditions so which is equal to 2 multiplied by y triple dash of x naught we have calculated here this is nothing but 21 so 2 multiplied by 21 plus 3 into e power x naught is e power 0 so here i will write down so 2 into 21 so 2 into 21 is nothing but 42 plus 3 into e power 0 is 1 so 3 into 1 so 42 plus 3 which is equal to 45 so we are getting y 4 times of x naught is equal to 45 right so this is all about your these uh, derivatives now you have to uh, put down these all values in the particular uh, series now again i will rewrite the taylor series expansion that is y of x is equal to y of x naught plus x minus x naught raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial y dash of x naught plus x minus x naught raised power 2 divided by 2 factorial y double dash of x naught plus uh, x minus x naught divided by 3 factorial raised power 3 y triple dash of x naught plus uh, x minus x naught divided by 4 factorial raised power 4 y 4 times of x naught okay so this is the Taylor series expansion now I have to put down all values over here that is y of x is equal to y of x naught so x naught value is already you know x naught value is 0 so y of 0 plus x minus x naught value is again 0 so no need to write so it will become x divided by 1 factorial that is 1 
and multiplied by y dash of x naught. We have calculated y dash of x naught. See here, y dash of x naught means here three. Okay, so multiplied by three plus x minus x naught. So it is again x divided by two factorial means two into one. So x naught value is zero. So no need to write raised power two. So x square it is multiplied by y double dash of x naught. Y double dash of x naught is nothing but nine. So multiplied by nine. Plus this is x minus x naught whole cube. So this is x cube divided by three factorial means three into two into one multiplied by y triple dash of x naught. Y triple dash of x naught is nothing but twenty one. So twenty one plus x minus x naught raised power four. That is x raised power four divided by four factorial means four into three into two into one multiplied by y four times of x naught. Y four times of x naught is nothing but forty five. So I can now Write it as y of x is equal to y of zero is nothing but zero. See here y of zero is equal to zero. It is the given condition. So zero plus this is three into x is three x plus nine into x is nine x square divided by two plus this is twenty one into x cube is twenty one x cube divided by three into two is six plus forty five into x raised power four. So forty five x raised power four divided by Four into three is twelve. Twelve into two is twenty-four. This is your Taylor series expansion. Now, in the question, it is uh, given as uh, see here employ Taylor series method to find y at zero point two. So instead of this x value, you have to take zero point two. That will be your final answer. So y at zero point two is equal to zero plus. So no need to write zero. So three into x. Three into x value is zero point two. Plus nine into zero point two whole square divided by two plus twenty one into zero point two whole cube divided by six plus forty five into zero point two raised power four divided by twenty four. So at this value you have to check uh, the y value. Okay. So y at zero point two. We can use your calc to solve this particular question. Make sure uh, it should be in the First mode, okay. That is simple calculation, multiplication, division, plus and minus. So I am choosing one option. Then I will solve accordingly. So three multiplied by zero point two plus nine into point two. Sorry, this is bracket start. Bracket start point two whole square divided by two. Then multi. Sorry, this is plus. Again, division mode that is twenty one multiplied by bracket start point two whole cube whole cube divided by six then plus again division mode forty five multiplied by point two raised power four divided by twenty four so which is equal to zero point eight one one. So this is your right answer. So 0.811 is the final answer for y at 0.2. Hope you have understood this problem very well, and it is a simple question, and most of the times it is appearing in the final examinations. Okay, so make sure you will practice for this particular question and easily grab seven to eight marks. Practice for three to four problems more on this particular topic that is Taylor series method. If you are finding some difficulties in any question, let me know in the comment section so that I can take uh, that particular question in next video so that we can solve it. Okay. Other otherwise, if you are comfortable in this method now, so we can proceed for another another method in the another video. Okay. So make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates. Thank you.